Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Wednesday, October 4th, 2023. The U.S. tourism industry has made progress in its recovery from the pandemic. But two major issues are hurting its ability to attract international travelers. What are they? Long wait times for visitor visas and outdated air infrastructure, writes global tourism reporter DeWitt Haptamarium. Executives speaking at the recent Skift Global Forum said the U.S. is facing fierce competition from overseas destinations that have improved their tourism infrastructure. NYC Tourism and Conventions CEO Fred Dixon highlighted Saudi Arabia as one destination his city is competing against for tourists. In addition, U.S. Travel Association CEO Jeff Freeman said long visa wait times in some top markets will cost the U.S. $12 billion in traveler spending. Freeman added those long waits don't make the U.S. a welcoming environment. In addition, Freeman described air travel in the U.S. as a hassle, as roughly 23% of all U.S. flights are delayed or canceled. Next, Air France KLM will take a minority stake in bankrupt Scandinavian carrier SAS, as part of a nearly $1.2 billion deal, unveiled Tuesday, reports Edward Russell, editor of Skift publication Airline Weekly. Air France KLM will invest $145 million for almost 20% stake in SAS as part of an investor consortium that includes the Danish government. SAS will join the SkyTeam alliance with Air France and KLM as part of the Chapter 11 restructuring deal. Russell writes the deal is the latest in a wave of European airline consolidation that includes the Lufthansa Group's pending acquisition of Italy's ITA Airways. Russell adds Air France KLM would see its share in Scandinavia, an area long seen as Lufthansa's backyard, increase. Finally, United Airlines has placed an order for 110 Airbus and Boeing planes amid ongoing constraints limiting flight schedules, reports Airline Weekly editor Russell. United said on Tuesday that the 110 planes will be delivered between 2028 and 2031. Russell writes the orders are driven partly by United's need to replace older jets by the end of the decade. The carrier is looking to grow at the capacity-constrained airports around the world. Russell adds United's latest order will enable it to add seats to its existing schedules at, among other airports, Newark and San Francisco. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insights into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily Newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.